Russian Expo Days opens today. I would like to thank each one of the 1400 colleagues of the Indian travel trade community who have registered for Russian Expo Days, curated and produced by Russian Information Center in Profi Travel. All the attendees will be honored with a certificate of Russian expertise issued by the Federal Agency of Tourism. This program has immense value at this date and time because starting 1st January 2021, Indian tourists can apply for Russian visa by electronic method. More details you can see on the program itself. Happy learnings and looking forward to seeing you at the program today. Today, a big project starts online exhibition Russia Expo Days. From 7 to 11 December, five days of live broadcast with Russia Tourism Experts. Russia Expo Days will present the tourism potential of Russia and its regions. St. Petersburg, Sochi, Kamchatka, Murmansk, Amur, Samara, Tula, Vladimir and Golden Ring cities. Opportunities for industrial and mice tourism in Russia also will be present. They are colleagues, a travel professional from India. Welcome to the opening ceremony. It will start very soon on 7 December today and 12.30 p.m. Thomas Cook India in association with Accor and Marriott recently conducted a 10-city road show across key markets. FHRAI organized a workshop to sensitize the industry about various MSME schemes and policies. The first and foremost that uh... Now it is called Udyam registration. I would request all the members that whenever they want to register themselves in the MSME sector for the units, please visit only this website. Please do not visit any other sponsored websites. It is indeed a great pleasure talking to all of you about the inclusion of uh, you know hotels and restaurants, travel and tourism industry into the MSME sector. Well, I would say that the sector was already there. The only thing is, the because of the change in definition, a larger number of enterprises have become part of this sector. There are some schemes available from other ministries also. So I compiled all those schemes and I was too happy to see that there are more than 70 schemes which offer assistance under various uh, programs to the micro, small and medium.